you're about to learn information that's stirring up both the crypto and institutional worlds. A statement by Ripple CTO, David Schwartz, brought to light a central point about how the XRP ledger, also known as XRPL, works. Schwartz explained that financial institutions can indeed transfer value within this network, without needing to use XRP as an intermediary asset. This statement sparked important debates and reflections about the future of the Ripple ecosystem and the true function of the native token. How it works without XRP. What does this mean in practice? According to Schwartz, the XRPL has a mechanism called trust lines. Through these, two parties can establish a direct relationship of trust, and from this bond, they can issue and trade their own tokens, representing various assets, without the need to use XRP as a settlement method. In these transactions, XRP fulfills only one basic function, acting as a gas token, that is, serving to pay the small fees that keep the network running securely and without congestion. These minimal fees, which are symbolic, ensure that the ledger is not targeted by spam attacks. Sean Langshaw's Analysis This point was reinforced by Sean Langshaw, a former U.S. Navy commander and full-stack developer. Langshaw drew attention to the official XRPL documentation, which clearly states that this feature has been planned for a long time. He emphasized that, once trust lines are created, institutions can issue and trade digital assets within the network without relying on XRP as a settlement currency. This means that companies can create digital representations of fiat currencies, commodities, or even other financial assets, using the robustness and security of the XRPL as infrastructure. David Schwartz's Confirmation In response to this observation, David Schwartz himself confirmed that yes, this reality exactly matches the original vision of the XRP ledger. He recalled that the concept of trust lines was developed in 2004 by Ryan Fugger, even before the creation of XRP as a cryptocurrency. Later, this idea would become an essential part of the Interledger Protocol, or ILP, a protocol that aims to connect different payment networks, creating a true global web of financial interoperability. According to Schwartz, this model gives institutions the freedom and flexibility to build customized settlement solutions, leveraging the full power of the XRPL without being restricted to using the native token. The future of XRP in this scenario. But the big question that arises is, if it is possible to use the XRPL without XRP, what is the future of the token? The answer is not so simple. XRP remains a fundamental element for two main reasons. First, because it serves as a guarantee of security, as all transactions pay fees in XRP, no matter how small. And second, because the token is a central piece of Ripple's on-demand liquidity, ODL services, which enable instant international settlements, reducing costs and timeframes in global transactions. In other words, even though it is not mandatory for all transactions, XRP maintains its importance as fuel for the ecosystem and as a strategic tool for large-scale liquidity solutions. David Schwartz's speech does not diminish the role of XRP. On the contrary, it reinforces the flexibility and intelligence of the XRPL, demonstrating that the ledger is capable of meeting different needs, from large institutions that prefer to operate with their own tokens to transactions that require the speed and global liquidity of XRP. This balance between independence and integration is what makes the XRPL one of the most robust platforms in the digital finance sector. We're looking at a technology that was born from an idea back in 2004 and that today, in 2025, continues to prove its relevance and innovation. A system that can work with or without XRP, but that will always rely on the token as an essential element to support its infrastructure.